We're talking to Chase Dowling, Executive Director of Hope Fest. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing great. You know, we've been talking about Hope Fest for weeks now and mm. just getting so really ramped up for this event because this is going to be tremendous. I'm so glad to have you here to help answer a few questions and really help paint the picture of what all we have to look forward to on that big day, April 7th. It's mm -hmm. right around the corner now. Here we go. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's great to be here. So we've got doors opening at noon. That's correct. And it's uh -huh. free to come on in and enjoy. So you can really just bring the whole family out and get ready to have some fun with that That's portion right. of the day. And get the party started. That's right. That's right. So at 12 o'clock, the doors will open. We are inviting the entire Lubbock community to come out and, and hang out with us. Tito's Vodka is sponsoring the pre-show party out there. So we've got four stage artists out there on wow. our pre-show stage. Um, it's going to be a great time. And then the doors to the Coliseum will open at 6 to our main stage artist. And uh, the party will continue on inside the Coliseum. All right, so let's go ahead now and just talk a minute. You have some great sponsors to thank for the mm -hmm. fact that now all the ticket sales are going to be able to go directly to your to the cause of the American Cancer Society and the money staying here in Lubbock. Yeah, absolutely. So some of our main sponsors include uh, American Campus Communities right here in Lubbock. They've got seven properties here. We've also got Tito's Vodka, Jack Daniels, and also Sigma Nu. Um, so we partnered up with a few fraternities here on campus to uh, make sure that this event takes off and, and as, as successful as possible. What a tremendous lineup. Casey Donahue, Parker McCollum, Grant Gilbert, and Cameron Hobbs. That is just awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And the artists have been fantastic up to this point. Casey has gone above and beyond for us and done a lot um, outside of the music uh, by donating to a few kids um, in the Houston area who we work with mm -hmm. um, who are currently going through uh, cancer treatment. So it's been fantastic to work with those artists. So now tickets are very affordable. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think that is great. And I also love the fact that the day gets started early. You're going to have food trucks. You're going to have a lot of great activities going beginning at noon. So mm -hmm. we can plan to come out and enjoy four other artists who are going to be out there earlier in the day. That's right. Yeah. So our artists are going to kick off the stage at 2.30 with Hannah King coming on first. Uh, after her, we've got Ken and Danielle, Jordan Robert Kirk. And then coming on to finish off the Tito's pre-show party is going to be uh, Britt Kerr. Kerr. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <clears throat> Yeah, and it's going to be a good time. Like you said, we've got about 15 or 16 food trucks coming out. We've got about 15 to 20 vendors who are going to be out there handing out all kinds of, all kinds of free promo. Um, and we also have um, a few competitions going on where you can come out and win signed guitars, um, guitar straps, different things that we have signed by the artist. Oh, nice. um, something that we're doing right now is um, the Anderson Bean uh, cornhole shootout that's brought to you by Dollar Western Wear. So oh. another company right here in Lubbock that's sponsoring us. Oh, that'll so, be fun. And you have the opportunity to win a pair of Anderson Bean boots. So the winning team will come out and um, hopefully win those. It is $20 to enter per team. But it, again, free custom boots. So There we go. And all the money for an important cause. And we that's were just right. talking. And we've been talking about how the American Cancer Society is going to benefit. A couple different subchapters of the American Cancer Society right here in Lubbock that are doing a tremendous job that y'all are going to be able to help out. You've got the Hope Lodge and also the Drive for Hope. You want to talk about those a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. So um, what a lot of people don't know is right here in Lubbock, we do have the very first Hope Lodge in the state of Texas. Okay. And, and the Hope Lodge has been set up to house uh, cancer patients free of charge um, during their treatment here. So we've had people stay, you know, a few nights a week. We've had people stay 800 and something nights out of, you know, the course of four years. So um, it totally is 100% uh, free for those people to stay. It's very important uh, to them um, that they have those free nights. You know, cancer treatment is not cheap. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's one way that we give back to the Lubbock community. Being the hub city, a lot of people travel in from Amarillo, uh, Plainview, Muleshoe, wherever it may be out here in West Texas to get that cancer treatment. And it just makes it that much easier for them if they can stay for free at the Hope wow. Lodge. Um, we have Texas Tech students that volunteer there daily. We have people in the Lubbock community that volunteer there daily. Um, it's open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So there's a lot of people in the community that give back in that way. And that's one way that we give back at Hope Fest is by raising money for them. Um, and then also, of course, the Drive for Hope program where we drive cancer patients to and from the hospital free of charge. You know, a lot of people, wow. um, their kids work or they're, they don't necessarily have travel mm -hmm. um, to and from the hospital. So we'll go pick them up at their house. We'll take them to the uh, hospital. We'll sit there and wait on them and then take them back home at the end of the day. And that's that little thing means the world to them. And again, mm -hmm. that is absolutely 100 percent free. And that's just one of the other ways that we support um, those people through Hope Fest. So this is exactly what, you know, your money is going to be going toward and you get to get out there at Hope Fest and have just a bunch of fun. I mean, there's going to be right. everything going on. There's going to be great music and, and drinks and 
food and yeah absolutely and i think one thing you'll see on the website over and over again is uh, you know you purchase a ticket to change your life and make a difference in somebody else's and that's something that we've gone with um, from the get-go from the very start of this concert series and um you know it truly is impactful i think people are going to come out and they're going to have a good time and they're going to leave there with a new understanding of what it truly means to live life to the very fullest and um and in all in all you're helping other people at the end of the day so it's going to be incredible april 7th we'll ah. be there uh-huh absolutely that is the day big day starts at noon rolls right on through the evening and then the doors open for the concerts getting going at six right that's correct from six to midnight we'll be out there casey donahue takes the stage last at ten thirty. parker mccombs at nine um, and then the other two artists are going to kick off at six thirty, um, and i believe seven forty-five as well okay make plans to join us for hope fest so good to talk to you thank you so much thank you